the self-distribution has come about actually by accident. It started with Uncovered, where we didn't have a distributor. We were in a rush, and I wasn't wanted to make sure that I got it out quickly. And so I looked at what I had in front of me, and what was in front of me was essentially an online community that was supportive of the issue around the false reasons for the Iraq War, and then some a think tank in Washington, D.C., called the Center for American Progress. So I approached both of them. I said, well, if the Center for American Progress could get some high-profile screenings and the online community, MoveOn.org primarily, and The Nation, and Alternet, and BuzzFlesh could help spread the word, we would have distribution. So we did that with Uncovered, which was the first one, which then led, when it came time to out Fox, to a realization that maybe this was a model that could continue. And so without Fox, we took it to the next step. We reached out to lots of media reform groups and said, this movie is coming. It's going to be distributed alternatively. And what that means is you can organize around it. You can have screenings. You can have house parties. You can get people together. And it was incredibly successful, partly the alternative model and partly because the media loves re reading and writing about the media. So there was a tremendous amount of press. And we sold almost 200,000 DVDs. That was a combination of alternative distribution, which means selling on our website, and a commercial distributor who felt even though we were selling on our website, there was further audience and he would be selling in the stores. Then that led to Walmart where we had a hundred groups involved as our partners who spread the word over months and months about the film, organized over 6,000, 7,000 screenings, and we have sold about 90,000 DVDs on our website. Which takes us to today with Iraq for Sale, where we're still in the middle of it. Um, we've had 100, 120 partner groups. We'll wind up at about 5,000 screenings. And most importantly, because these films are designed and meant to affect social change, the Iraq for Sale has forced the issue of war profiteering into the election process itself in the United States.